This is Cameron Chai from Azom, bringing you another episode of Azom.com TV. And today I'm speaking to Brad Dodrell from Lakeshore, and he's going to tell us about their cryogenic probe station. Okay, so this is a cryogenic micro-manipulated probe station, which is used to uh, do electrical and or magnetotransport property measurements on partial or full wafers. Uh, this particular station can accommodate wafers up to two inches in diameter. However, we have probe stations that will accommodate wafers up to four inches in diameter. And uh, these probe tips uh, right here, uh, you can get a better view of right here on this screen. Okay, so these particular probe tips are 10 micrometers in diameter. And they're basically designed so that you can move them in and out, back and forth, and up and down so that you can land them on a wafer or on a device that's uh, on a wafer and then do electrical probing of that device. For example, IV curves as a function of gate voltage and that sort of thing, okay? Now these probe stations operate from 1.5 Kelvin to 675 Kelvin, so they provide a, a broad range of temperatures. Uh, they can be integrated together with in-plane and out-of-plane magnets providing field strengths to 1 Tesla and 2.5 Tesla respectively. And we can also make these probe stations with closed cycle refrigerators for cryogen free operation. And basically what these are are an enabling experimental platform for researchers who are doing electrical measurements, electro-optical measurements, high frequency measurements to 67 gigahertz, or magnetotransport property measurements, including Hall effect on a variety of materials. So the typical materials and applications include uh, nanoscale electronics, uh, nanodots, nanowires, nanotubes, uh, molecular and organic electronic devices, semiconductors, superconductors, and also spintronic devices, for example, uh, magnetic multilayers and tunnel junctions. All right, and if anybody wants more information on your cryogenic probe stage, or for that matter, any of your other products, they can go to your website, presumably? Yes, absolutely. And what's your web address? www.lakeshore.com. All right, Brad, thanks very much for telling us about the cryogenic probe stations. Thank you.